Thank you very, very much for being here. I'm immensely excited by the potential. In terms of access to archives and providing means for other people to reuse them, um, understanding the rights issues and the licenses that are available for arts organisations is a massive opportunity. Finding consistent ways to describe what it is that you have and what you've made so that it can be discovered by others and by others not just now but in the future. And it is about building sustainable digital assets, about how you do this properly and it's based on real research with cultural organisations and goes into enormous amount of depth. Some of the challenges that people face in this particular space um, are not just technological, they're also a mindset. Keep that creative questioning at the heart of your mind. When we are involved in creating or managing content, we would like that to be as open as possible. Everyone has a stake in making sure that they are involved in the heritage of, of this country and, and are able to get the most out of it, really. It made me think about the future and, um, you know, like they said, when a lot of this work that we were involved in happened you know, in the 90s and 80s, um, we definitely weren't thinking about the internet because it didn't really exist. So I'd like to think more about how we build that into you know, how we work with the artists in the future. The web is great at linking things together, but it's not yet great at making real meaningful connections between all of the things that's left up to the humans to do. I think it's about learning how to archive in a meaningful way and also to set up good practice for the future. How do you future-proof your, your material? So what kind of formats and resolutions so that we're not suddenly thinking the picture's too small? We have to find a way of letting go our branding and our ownership and that involves a level of trust of the audience. There are ways in which one can think about revenue streams through, through the archive, but very often it's not something from an arts organisation point of view that's foremost in your mind, but I think it's something to think about at the beginning of this. I think organisations do need to look at their overall budgets and over a period of time decide a proportion of that budget, probably a higher proportion, needs to go into investment in digital possibilities. How will it be made available? Will there be a charge for the users primarily to access this material? There's a sort of an essential conundrum at the heart of this about rewarding and payment for the content creators and how they monetize the stuff that they've got within the concept of a digital public space. I think there's a very strong business case that actually that can act as a marketing mechanism and can propel the value added services that you have. What are the issues, particularly the moral rights issues? You can uh, customise them and adapt them and make them your own.